Hello everyone, this is Professor Patterns. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up your Kokoro text-to-speech inference on a Mac. Now, if you have a Windows computer, then I have another video. I'm going to share a link to that in the description. Watch that one. This is specifically for Mac users. Now, I will caveat by saying that Professor Patterns is not a rich professor. Uh, this is the cheapest Mac that I could find. Um, and I just went out, I bought it just to make this video for you all. So let me start by showing you what it looks like. Now you can see that the inference is actually going to be pretty fast. Let's embark on a journey of learning trajectory. Now this is because I was actually trying different voices and this is the French accent voice that I pulled up. But we can also try a couple of different voices here towards the end of the video. First, let me show you exactly how you can set it up. Now, what you'll do is go over to your OpenWebUI documents page. That's going to be docs.openwebui.com. Here, you'll select tutorials, and then you want to select text to speech. Now, from here, go over to Kokoro um, Fast API using Docker. Now, this, you can open it in a new tab and scroll all the way down to where it says get started and quickest start using Docker Run. Now, this does assume that you have Docker Desktop already uh, installed on your computer. If you don't, not a big deal. Just watch the video on Docker installation in the description. So the version that I'm going to actually be choosing is this one, the one with CPU. Now, let's simply copy this command. And then you want to open up your terminal window. So let's hit Escape. And then here, if you go to Launchpad, you can search for terminal. Now I already have terminal running, so I'm simply going to open it up right here. Now from here, I'll simply paste the command that I just copied. So Docker run and then Kokoro fast API CPU. Now this will take a second to run, but once it's done, it's going to look something like this. So we'll be able to see exactly that Kokoro is currently running. Now let's go back over to our open web UI interface. And then from here, I'm going to select admin settings. Then I'll select settings and then go to audio. Now here for the text to speech engine, it's going to be HTTP host.docker.internal port 8880 slash v1. The password is going to be not un hyphen needed. And I'm going to share both of these in the description. So you can simply copy that and paste it right here. The text to speech voices, we can try a couple of different voices. So for example, AF underscore sky, that's another voice. And then the text to speech model is going to be Kokoro. Now, once you get done with all of that, you'll simply hit save. And then it should say setting save successfully. So now let's go back over here and then just read something out loud. Let's embark on a journey of learning together. And we can see that the voice did change. So what other voices are available? Well, there's a really simple trick that you can use to just find that out. Again, go back over to your admin panel, click on settings, and then click on audio. Now, let's just say we change the text-to-speech voice to AF, right? We don't know what voices are available. I'm just going to say AF. Now, I know that this is going to fail. So let's go back here, learning journey, and try to read this out loud. It's going to say, look, you have a bad request because we don't know what this voice is. And that's fine. Let's exit out of here and go back to terminal. Now, if you look at the bottom, we'll see that it did fail. It said voice AF is not found, but it also shows us what the available voices are. So as an example, the AF star sky was a voice that we've used in the past. Um, I've used the PM Alex voice before. Uh, let's try another one, BM underscore fable. So this is the voice that I want to try out. So what I'm going to do is go back here to the admin panel click on settings and then select audio. The one that I found was BM underscore fable. And then if I hit save, I can go back here and then try the voice out. Let's embark on a journey of learning together. And there we go. We can see that it's extremely fast to run inference, especially even like this isn't a very beefy Mac by any means. Um, if you had something a lot beefier, it's going to be able to run inference a lot faster than how long it took this to run. But even with a very simple Mac, it is actually quite fast to run inference. So I highly recommend you checking this out. Thank you all for tuning in. And I will say that this video was requested by a lot of you all. 
So thank you for your comments. It really helps me out. It really helps me understand uh, where people are struggling so I know where to make the videos. So if you have any other sort of problems or anything, feel free to leave some comments in the comment section below. If you want me to cover some sort of future video ideas or something, also feel free to do that. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.